Hello there, welcome to I Play You Play or iPup. I'm Harley and this is Danny. Hello. This is the uh, show where one of us picks a game, the other one has to play it. Yep. You know, whatever, wherever we pick, you've got to play. Whatever I think is a good game from the I... past, you have to play. <laughs> Whatever you, I may think is a good game that no one else agrees with, in a certain has way. To play. <laughs> why? Why is this, Harley? Which game are you about to pick that you consider a, a really good game? Oh, it's fantastic. What is it? It's fantastic. I right? have picked Dragon Age Two. Two. <laughs> two. The second one. The second one. Highly controversial. Well, I like it. I don't understand why everyone's got such beef. Well. There's, there's a little fine. beef Wellington around this game, that's, and I don't understand why. It is fine to have your own opinion. Um, I have never played Dragon Age 1 or 2. So you have no previous knowledge of no. the Dragon Age games. You're just no. going to go in, you're going to go in fresh, and you're going to be like, I've, what is this shit? I've played RPGs. I've, I've right. swung swords at things in video games, not in real life. Well, of course. Never swung a sword in never real been life. There. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think you should play this, and I think you'll enjoy it, because I don't know what people wanted. I think they I'm wanted excited. Jesus. <laughs> Dragon Age 2! Yay! Hey, did you hear in the bottom left corner, the Mass Effect 3 demo is here. Oh, yes! Two years too late. Okay, so the, the, these, the, all the loading screens are like uh, places around this city that you spend the game in. Okay, right. Class and gender. So, this is... Uh, right. This is not the main character selection, this is just like to get you an idea of the game. Now, I always like to play a mage character. Okay, uh, mage is a fantastic fun in this game. That's I good. love it, it's my favourite um, class. Uh, mm. Male or female? The mm. female and male voice actors. It's not like Mass Effect where the male voice actors are fucking robot. It's right. like they're both pretty decent. I don't know. But I think I preferred the female one when I played through the games. Okay, female it is. And the the, the, Use the graphics. Your prerogative. Yeah. All right. So a little introductory cutscene to just set you in the mood of the game. I'm I'm in the mood. In the mood. Ready. Don't that, judge that. that fire don't looks judge like, it. <laughs> looks like shit. <laughs> it's 2011. Come on, man. <laughs> Just deal with it. Wasn't that long ago? I know Witcher 2 came out in 2011, but you mm. know, we can't all be Witcher 2. This is Dragon Age 2. Mm. Dragon Age 1 looked like utter shit for 2009. This can look utter shit for 2011. Yeah. Okay. Let's watch. What are you seeking? The champion. This is Varric. He is fantastic. Which one? You know exactly what you He just got bookended. That sword does. It looks pretty blunt, actually. Maybe that'll make it hurt more. Maybe. Well. What do you want to know? Start at the beginning. All right. Here we go. Okay, let's go. From the beginning. Dragon Age 2. Varric is starting from the beginning. Now he's yeah. telling the story, which leads to some pretty interesting okay. events. It's quite good, the way they've done it. They've set it up. Mind the microphone now. Whoops. I'm so right. sorry. So this is like how it links to the first one. Okay. The no. Darkspawn look different in this version. It really does not look that good, does it? Don't judge the graphics. The graphics. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm judging the cutscene right now. I'm not impressed. <laughs> but we'll see how gameplay goes. So I'm sure it'll redeem itself. I don't understand why they've got like a dragon sort of chainmail going on. It's a bit weird. But I think the the these are like the Darkspawn. They they don't look that good in the yeah. first one either. Okay. All right. Prepare okay. yourself for your stand. I'm ready. Okay, you're gonna learn the controls very quickly now. Oh my. Oh my God. No way. What? Keyboard turn. Okay, here we go. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> MMO controls. Yeah. Um. Right click on enemy to right attack. Right click an enemy to. What? No it, way. I, I much prefer it on a controller. I'm oh sorry, everyone. <laughs> I much prefer this controller. What kind of gotta, controls like, are these? You've got to like go up to an enemy. Like you've got to press A in oh. the right combo time to get it going. And Jesus, it's really good. God, man, you're shit at fighting Darkspawn. Oh my, what is this? Right, press one and use your frost uh, spell. Okay, that's that's what I need. What? There you go. Okay. Look at that. You're tearing them down. Your bros doing pretty well as well. Look at that. Fantastic work. Okay. And look, now you got a fire spell. I don't know if you noticed. Boom, baby. Oh, you didn't, actually, you didn't actually do it. There you go. No, I think it's right click. I am right clicking. Left click then. <laughs> what is this? I don't know the controls. I play this on console. And These I controls are terrible. How are they terrible? This is really bad. Ah, uh, They're the same as the first one. Really? But I prefer the console controls through them. Um, so now you've got Mass Effect style choices. 
But like, it's not like straight up God. good evil middle. It's like, oh, I'm all it right, cheeky, of... and then fuck off. But that's just like you get a variety of different ones. I'm it's right still like the good you. ones at the top and the shit ones at the bottom. It's not what I wanted to say. Okay. Um, it's not as bad as La Noir in that sense. though. La Noir had shit. Like um, I want to say this here they came. Well. Like, um, do it. So you can either get him to do it or you can say. I'm going to do oh it. Oh my god. That right, okay. Cool. More dudes. Oh my god, the mouse sensitivity. We can turn that down. PC gaming, isn't it? Oi! Yeah. Customise everything. Uh. Okay. Look at that. You're beating the shit out oh of them, man. Oh my god. Keyboard turning. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to be able to get an impression of the game if you I'm just keep trying I'm about trying my best to, to oh my god. understand this, but this is just... It's been a whinge and pom. I... <laughs> 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 Bloody hell. Um, <laughs> just fight the fucking Look, I'm trying, bomb. but, like, I. You some of my attacks need. Before. Yeah, but, you just know, be with. precise, just aim! I'm, just I'm trying to fall. click on them, but it's. Oh my <laughs> what God. is it? I don't. Look, your problem's been overwhelmed now while you're faffing about with their controls. Look at that. That's why mages are cool. You just can't do that as a. Uh, I just. Fighter. I feel like I should be able to, like, target and just. Like clicking on things on the screen like this, it's not. You don't have to multi click, you just tap once and, you'll, and then she'll keep going. What's so this? Okay, so I've got auto attack. So yeah, you just attack them. I don't. Alright, so here comes your first sort of boss monster. Okay. This guy kicked my ass yesterday on Origins. Yeah? Yeah. First one of these. Fucking ridiculous. Oh, gee. Oh, fucking. <laughs> So you just belly bolt you, it was fantastic. Bear in mind you've got uh, a few more spells now. Yeah, they've been unlocking as you've been going. Okay. Right. What's six do? So six okay. is like a cone of frost. Okay. Oh! What? You got him. Oh. Fantastic work. Look at that. He just exploded in blood. Now you're covered in blood. Why did they make the controls like this, Harley? I don't know. It's really, like, it's really weird. I, I can't offer you much help in terms of controls. I played it in the Xbox 360 and it's fantastic on that. Although, I don't know what you're complaining about. Have you played it on PC? I've played it on PC. I got to the end of the first act on PC on a laptop. I had no problems. <laughs> is that my character then? No. no. Your character's the one you've been playing. Okay. It's just... I, I didn't pay much attention when I chose the character, so I thought that's what she looks like. No, that's, uh, that's Miranda. Right. She's the head Templar. Oh no, Chantry. Fuck. She's like the Chantress. I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> Been a long time. Are you sure I can't use a controller? Yes, I did try. When I uh, first played it. But I know you can do like tactical view and stuff, and that's what everyone raves about in the PC version. Like you zoom out all the way or something. Okay. But I don't know if that's actually in this one, because I know it's in the first one, but in the first one it was just dodgy. Alright, I'm gonna have to fiddle with controls. That's fine. Uh, you're going to make your actual character now. Because that okay. was his uh, everyone's better version. The funny thing about that, right, is if you're a male in that scene, mm -hmm. um, you have a sister. And because Varric's telling the story and he's a bit of a perv, mm. that dwarf guy, your sister has massive tits in the uh, <laughs> like the uh, endowed version of the story. I see. But then as soon as you go back in, they're, they're uh, um, much more petite. And I think that's quite funny. <laughs> uh... Alright, so this is, yeah, standard character creation. What do, I, do I want to make anything of this? Oh, uh, I don't know. Have a look around. Do what you want, you know. Uh, so, import from Origins your save. If you've finished Origins, or you can import your save, and then what, have you done you've that? made have an effect. I haven't completed Origins on this computer, no. I, I think standard with Blood Across Face is pretty good. Done. Standard form. Let's not mess about here. Let's, yeah. get, on, let's get into it. Let's get in the way. Um, so, you live in the first town you go to in the first game, which I think is pretty cool. Oh, so you're like getting away. Pants. She loves her pants. Bam. That's your sister. Burn. Burning shit down. Whoop. Whoop. Your brother. Notice all your clothes are a lot shitter than they yeah. were. I haven't got sweet gear. Yeah. I Have I not got, got all those spells that I was no. using? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's like a cool way of getting you uh, tutorialed into the game. By throwing everything at you yeah, and going, yeah, yeah. And go! Like, deal with it. 
So I'm always um, cheeky in these I'm, games. I'm sorry, Mother. Sorry, Mummy. Sorry, Mummy. I'm so sorry. You're right. We should have run sooner. Why did we wait so long? So this is your family. Your family are, are like all the characters. I okay. mean, the ones that survive. Um, what's that matter? Yeah, the ones that matter. Is it? It's a nice family unit sort of thing. I, I, I miss some of the like Dragon Age Origins has these things where you're walking around the world, right? right. And there's these two characters that banter more than any other, and they're called Alistair and Morrigan, and they will just chat shit and they hate each other, and it's fantastic. And I don't think they can ever beat that. But this one has some really good pairings because like when you walk around the world, they'll just talk. It's uh, it's really cool. I wish more games would do that, like in the way that Dragon Age does. Okay. All right. So you're gonna sort out the controls now. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh, shit. What? You haven't got any buttons on the side of your mouse. No! Why um, would I have buttons on the side of my mouse? Because they usually do. No, they don't! Yeah. Mouse? The my... back, forward and back buttons. What are you talking about? Mice have two buttons and a middle button. No, and there's no, two on the other. No, other on normal the... mice have two buttons and one middle button. You're running on some super human mouse. Superhuman mouse. Look at that. Empty. I, I don't understand. It's blank. There's nothing there. What? There's, there's nothing there. I'm Look. just a normal person with a normal computer. Where's my auto run button? How do I auto run without it? It's madness. Okay. I've made my point. I'm sure you have. I'm sure all eight people <laughs> understand. <laughs> who uh, um, have that. Target closest. Um, well, in agreement with you. And attack. Oh, we've got the Blood Dragon armor because it's Mass Effect 2, that's cool. Alright, so you're almost level 2, because this experience part at the bottom, as I'm sure you're familiar with in MMOs. So you can play oh. as any one of your party members you click on them. Right. I don't like that, to be honest. Uh, I'd much rather just play as my character. Alright, so take out these fellas. Lovely. So all the, all the animations in this one are a lot more flamboyant than they Like uh, in Dragon Age 1, You'd have to walk up to someone slowly, and the animations will be really slow like this. And it just wasn't very exciting, and everyone had to get into place. And this is a lot more frantic and action-packed, and I really like that. This is right. it's fun, as opposed to... Like, I understand how the original was more tactical. I understand that. That's fine. Mm. But this is a bit more engaging. It's just... Uh, the first one just gets boring if you just go around doing random quests. Okay, so the more you zoom out, the more you go into tactical view. I think... Can you zoom out any further? Oh, no. no but you right. can pause the game by pressing space, I believe. Yeah, and then you can like select on different dudes and say, oh. you attack this, you attack this, you attack this, you nice. heal, all that sort of stuff. Oh, you can level up now, by the way. Okay, how so do you've got I level a little up? Alright, so you can click on this. Oh. Uh, okay, so okay. yeah, you get to choose in a, your tributes to go up, like classic RPG stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This sort of the first one as well, abilities. So that you select a school of magic and like go up in it. It's all good. Entropy, okay. Yeah. Chaos. Yeah. That's true. Snaring foes. True to life. But I don't. Th I can't remember why you uh, can't use that yet. It must be uh, locked off for a level. Uh, okay. But generally at this point, Do I think you should go for another offensive spell because I don't think you'll need the heal until your next level up. Okay. But you can go for the heal if you want. Creation. Invaluable allies who can heal yeah. wounds. I am. I do like a healer. No, that's cool. It's yeah. Like Just, World of Warcraft, I, I usually played a healer. This is um, an MMO, though. You got to remember that. <laughs> yeah, but it's pretty. It's RPG. It's, it's a like fun it. RPG. It's not an MMO. It's yeah. a fun RPG. Okay, I'm fireball. Okay, Let's cool. Three ability points. Just fancy some cunning. <laughs> no, why, crit, why not? Crit chance. Okay, now you pause it with space. There you go. Okay, cool. So now I've got. Now you've got your mind power, which is two. Oh, fireballs on one. Mind blast. And fireball. So mind blast is your up close sort of shotgun. Knocks enemies back. Yeah. Okay. Alright. And you've got your fire. So uh, this one launches you up into it a lot faster than Dragon Age 1 did. Dragon Age Origins does some cool stuff. Because you have a two hour or origin story at the start of each one. Right. And that that is not improved on here because you only get one origin story. But I think it makes the story more personal to the... Like they're able to get into more detail. Which I like. Wherever we go, what's important is that we don't separate. Like the first one's just like world building. Right. This is a personal story of one character, and it's really good. I feel like these three choices, it's it's just good, bad, or neutral. There's it's, no. Nah. With this one, uh, it's 
good. There, there's sort of it's like good, but it's the way you can be good. Right. Like obviously it's like Mass Effect where it's good, bad, and neutral choices, and I, and it's a shame that there's not more choices. Yeah. But I like the way in this one you can be cheeky. You don't have to be all out good, all out bad. You can still be cheeky and like gain oh stuff and everything. You beat the shit out of them pretty much. Oh, oh here we go. What? Okay. Um, we... <laughs> hmm. I think my copy of Dragon Age too much. Was... <laughs> That was, um... <laughs> Did you see that? Uh, yeah. That's it. <laughs> there it is. There. Um... <laughs> uh... Well... Just, just ignore it! Um, just ignore it! <laughs> I don't... Let's... Uh... Let's... Oh, what the fuck?! Um... Why is she like... I have no idea! Uh, maybe Origin's got some corrupted files? Mm. Usually it's just a body, that's not just... Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd assume so, you know. <laughs> Does she have a body yeah, in gameplay yeah. or is she just a floating head? That's amazing, I love her. Okay. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, she's got no body. Okay. <laughs> it's like, he's dying, but she needs help, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Uh, <laughs> there's this weird, like, texture <laughs> just here. That's her real body. That's all that's left. Stiffen. I've never seen this before. This is fantastic. <sighs> Good game. Yeah, I never had this before. <laughs> we must have done. I must have been trying to mod it or something. Maybe. Uh, I <laughs> That's my brother, right? Fucking hell. No, no, no. That's uh, her husband, Wesley. Right. Her husband. Yeah. Uh, this is my husband. We can hate each other when we're safe from the horde. Um. Uh, let's just go. <laughs> nice, cheeky. Let's move on. He's hunting down the mage that made his wife half invisible. Wow. <laughs> For now, we move you. North is cut off. Just, it, just, the like, that's that's not something that usually happens in the game. Even <laughs> yeah, people I hate, assume so. Even people who hate the game are going, yeah, that fucking glitch. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen it before. <laughs> Okay, so look, you've got all your like rivalry and friendship options, so you, okay. every time you say something you influence someone and like, is, other people can get so angry at your decisions that they can leave your party as well. Right. So, it some people might really like the fact you're really good and courageous, and other people are like, you're a fucking loser if you're going to be that right. good and courageous. So they want you to be a little bit over the edge and stuff. I, I can't remember if that's in the first one or not, but I definitely, every time I talk to Morrigan in the first one, she disapproves of everything I say. Right. I don't know if she can leave though. I, I assume they can. It's a pretty cool mechanic. And uh, once you get to a certain point, you can set up the AI and like choose what you want them to do in certain situations, if I remember correctly. Uh, so you can say if there's a mage at the back, then you can get your best mage killing character to just go straight for the mage. Like in their AI, you like program them. It's pretty cool. You're gonna steal something of that dead refugee, are you? So that's so, like that's like a stamina pro, uh, stamina poison and a ma uh, mana potion. All right. All right. So now you've got a mage at the back here, so you want to take off that mage first, even though the mage just decided to just charge at you. Like obviously, we're start the game, so combat's just whatever, whatever you want. Okay, so I can. Yeah, you can switch your characters and do the things. Taunt. The ability has been cast. Yeah, so she's going to be doing taunt at the moment. Okay. There you go. Okay, so I, I I, see... I sort of see how this works. Yeah. So you, you set... You can stop it and set each one to attack. Yeah. Specific target, and as you go on, you'll be like, "Okay, I'm always making this person do this." So then you can go into their AO path and go, "Right, whenever this happens, do this," because okay. then you don't have to do it, and it gets a little less busy every time. I like how these guys are now synced up, <laughs> so I can also select both of these guys at the same time, and then make them tell them both to attack. Pilot Walter, yeah. 
Apart from she kept attacking her, I didn't quite. <laughs> okay, so you can take care of these guys. Right. And also that. And then you come over here. You over here. So I can nice. select those. Being nice and tactical, so this guy's charging you, but yeah. Avalon's still on it. What's her fucking name? I can't remember. And I can fire It's like Aspen. Elspeth. Yeah. Avila. Avil. Who's it? A. Maybe Sophia. Cassandra? I don't fucking know. I'll okay, have to ask so her. So. You. Need to taunt this one. Can I. Did that work? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. He came over eventually. So, oh, so he is having some troubles. <laughs> oh yeah, Jesus, he's going to have like eight. Uh, <laughs> she's almost dead. So you might want to use that new healing. Did you get the healing thing? No, I didn't. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, you can. Uh, you can use a healing potion. That here, healing and yeah, mana okay, potion. So, so now, once you're on push, that she'll do that. Okay. Uh, this guy, Carver, he, is going to need a healing uh, potion. Or he needs to run away whilst uh, you... Oh, yes, quick healing, actually. Goes ahead. ...take care of this guy. Oh, he's been caught by these two, though. Okay. You are having troubles, aren't you? What are you up to? He was fighting five of them. <laughs> you take care of him. Okay. So I, I see the appeal of this the tactical to, to someone, but I, I'm not. I no, really uh, to be honest, too much uh, this. this is the PC version, so the combat's more difficult. Right. In the console version, you can go in and you can just focus on you. I think in some cases you want to switch around, you'll make sure people are healing and that. Right. But like, I think you're you're going way too much more into this than you actually need to at this point. He's I mean, dead. that guy's dead, but you you'll be able to mop him up because that guy is shit, and you'll see why in about right. a minute. Right. <laughs> Tactics. Yeah, so this is the thing where you can like add what happens if someone see blah 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 blah. Okay. And I, I, I can't remember if you can get more slots or not on this one. Uh, but pretty much at the moment you have you have presets, you have the behavior you want, so you can you don't actually have to go in and change any of this, but you can if you want. And it's got loads and loads of different like coding you can do. So theoretically you could have it set up so you have this four person army that just run mechanically off and just you don't have to do right. anything um, you just so enemy can I make this so he's aggressive actually I'll, I'll put this guy's any yeah mighty so any enemy blow. he sees he will use mighty blow so he'll mostly just use mighty blow yeah um, okay is this an order so he'll attack, wait, use, or yeah. is this? Okay. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah, so it goes in depth. This is this is. You deep. don't have to even touch this if you don't want to, though. Yeah. I I got through the game without touching it on the uh, Xbox. Okay. I kind of want to adjust hers. Oh, ally being attacked by a melee attack. Torn. Torn. Okay. I like so that. So she's already got that set up. Surrounded by at least. Oh, so this it it does set it up itself pretty well. Yeah. So you but know, you it's nice it. that you can you can change this. Completely. Yeah, so you can tweak it so you, your party interacts how you want it to interact. Surrounded by no enemies, def deactivate shield defense. Surrounded by at least three enemies. Okay. Oh man, this is this is cool. Yeah. So it's a smart. I'll, I'll trust the game to deal with that for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't have to touch, but you know, it's, it's the extra element of tactical yeah. play if you want to. That's cool. In the first one, you have to dabble in that stuff. I swear. Mm -hmm. uh, at least on the PC version. Um, but uh, this this one, I don't think it's so essential. No. <laughs> she feels something. How does she feel it? In the force. Oh, okay. This battle is going to be... But it harder. should be harder, yeah. Okay. Okay, but I know what I'm doing with um, using multiple characters. Right. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Well. Well, she's dead. Huh. Aren't you glad you spent the time loving her up a little bit? <laughs> Too bad. We've wasted enough time. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's like, a wealth of options over open to you. Just yeah. you're just not committing. I I don't feel like there is much of an option for me. <laughs> it's just, are you good or bad? I'm good. But how do you want to be in that specific situation? Well, I don't want to make a joke about how my dad's dead as well, or 
tell them. But maybe that's the sort of character Hawkers. You know, that's what uh, these games like. Yeah. The cool thing about these ones is that whatever you say, it's it's not like Chibi Robo where I say no and he goes, "You meant yes, right?" And you go, "Yes, <laughs> yes, I meant yes." It's like you yeah, say, "I'm sorry." <laughs> you yeah, I do agree. someone's a dick, and yeah. then they think, "Oh, that guy thinks I'm a dick." Mm. Oh, a dragon. So that really happened. There was really a dragon. Oh. What's well, really funny about this character, because the character's like a shapeshifter that turns into a dragon. <laughs> um, that's fucking bodiless girl. Um, but in the first game, she's like this ugly, decrepit old woman. And then this right. one, they suddenly like, I don't know, I don't know what they decided to do, but they tried to like, tart her off a bit. Right. It's really weird. Because <laughs> she's meant to be like thousands of years old. Oh, right. But yeah, this is the dragon part of Dragon Age. Okay. Yum yum. Sense. You'd expect there to be dragons. Yeah. I think there's three in the first one, I think. Alright. Oh. There you go. This Hello. is Flemeth. Oh, wow. She is. She does look old. Yeah, but they, they, they've, they've got also, some cleave. You know, they've and got, they've they've got, got some face really going weird. on there as well. <laughs> she's got all armour and stuff. Like, the first thing she's like. <laughs> It's really odd. Mm. But yeah, this is this is one of the cooler lore parts. <laughs> Fucking, what is she doing? <laughs> <laughs> she's she's lowering him gently to the ground with her invisible arms. <laughs> she's, he's like, you have no arms. Um, she's like, trust me. <laughs> nice trick. Where'd you learn how to turn into a dragon? Perhaps I am a dragon. If so, you count yourself. So. This is sort of the bread and butter of Dragon Age. If you don't like doing the talk and you don't like getting the lore together, if you don't get invested in the characters, you're not going to enjoy it. Um, in the first one, it's really, um, like, we're all fucked, we're all going to die. So everyone's really somber and solemn, and that's kind of cool. But right. in this one, it's uh, it's just daily life. So you just sort of explore this town and get to know everyone. There's lots of problems going on. So you, the mission variety is a bit more exciting, I think. Right. Because everyone's a bit mopey in the first one. But that's still that's a great story. But I feel like... You basically choose one path at the beginning and you're always going to select the same option. I, I feel like people will get locked into that and that's sort of a shame, but I can see why. Yeah. But I, I have more fun with, like, I'll be cheeky, but if I, like, it depends on the character I'm talking to most of the time. Yeah. Like, if you're talking to, like, your family, then you would be nice. But if you're talking to some arsehole, then you're like, fuck off, you know. Yeah. It's, just, it's just cool that it gives you the option more than anything, I think. Like, I think even the dev said... 90% of people don't use some of the options yeah. you put in there, but they have it. Yeah. And that's better than not having it. And if you didn't have the options, people would complain. Yeah. Even though no one ever uses them. Yeah. I, yeah, I think I heard that as well, where, like, 90% of people just are good all the time. Yeah. But they'd be annoyed if you didn't have the option to be bad. No, I think the problem with Mass Effect 3 was, if you weren't good 90% of the time, it's not like Fable 3, then the end game you just got shit on. Oh my god, Fable 3. Yeah, let's not talk of that. that. We, we could do a show where we rant about games we both don't like, and that have like two episodes, because we disagree on some of the shit. But Fable 3, fuck me. But Dragon Age has never been a very good looking series. I feel like this would be a lot better on... I can't believe that there's no um, controller support for this because it's because I think people be so bitched about it so much being dumbed down for the consoles that they're fine we're just obviously we're just to play on pc with the pc stuff yeah but I, I get that that's awesome they put effort into making keyboard and mouse controllers and that's that's not done enough but they took out the <laughs> controller controls yeah i i don't know it's... i don't i don't understand we, why we couldn't have had both um I don't know, I feel, I feel like there's no winning if you're making a game for people these days. <laughs> for PC, there's... Well, no, if any, there's, for there's never enough. Like, I mean, I, like, I I prefer keyboard and mouse for a lot, of, a lot of games, but sometimes I do just want to sit back with a controller, and the fact that I have to use a keyboard and mouse here, I, I don't like. Especially the kind of game this is, I would expect to be able to use a controller. I do prefer the controller controls, mm. but I'm happy to play this. I, I think it's such a fantastic game. Yeah. I really like uh, the stylization of the cutscenes in Dragon Age series as well. It's this is kind cool. Cool FMV stuff and everything. Alright, so you say you're sailing now to a place called Kirkwall, which right. is the main city of the game, and there's like eight different districts you can go to and visit the stuff, uh, okay. places to see. The main complaint about this game is that you spend too long in this city, right? Right. Because this is what you spend the entire game, and that you visit a lot of the same locations over and over again, right. and like that it's sort of sort of reused. Right. But I, I just don't understand no. the <laughs> issue. I, I don't understand it. It's I feel like, like these are all very valid points that normally you'd be 
up in arms with. But no, no. I, I don't. I don't. I, I, well, I like the city. I like getting to know the city. It's like, oh, these alleys. Are like, I, I, I cleared them out. Like, yeah. I, I, these alleys, I'm gonna keep safe. But people keep getting in them, and it's right. like, I don't mind because people use te- te- textures and everything all the time. It just gets the same layout. It doesn't make any difference. Skyrim has like 80 dungeons that are exactly the same <laughs> fucking rocks and everything. But I don't like Skyrim very much. <laughs> oh my god, she's not going to have a body for the entirety of the game. That no. is fucking fantastic. Unless she changes armor or something, maybe. Yeah, maybe, but <laughs> I've never had that happen before. That's so funny. All right, so Dragon Age 2. Dragon Age 2. Um, <sighs> it's 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 different. Like, it's kind the the controls, I feel... I didn't, I didn't like it very much, the, the controls at least, because... I think having to like click on targets as they're running towards you like that it it just it didn't seem right to me like it felt kind of like MMO combat but not even as as slick as MMO controls are cuz at least in MMOs you can like target something and then use your hotkeys but in this it's sort of like everything's either ground targeted or you have to right click on someone over in the distance you can um, always pause it yeah, you can pause it. The, I, that is definitely good for those who like the tactical sort of thing. But I, I was expecting just an action RPG out of this. And nah, even, that's not what it is. So it, it, it wasn't what I thought it was. So it's it would be good for people who like a tactical sort of game. I don't, I don't really care so much about the tactical thing, and the story. It seemed weak at the start. Maybe it gets better later on. Uh, I don't think you can judge the story of the game in a 60-hour no. whatever RPG in the first <laughs> half an hour. Uh, yeah. But I'd be interested to see what people think of your opinion of the PC controls. Because generally people think that the console controls are god-awful. Okay. And that the PC controls are what saved the game. But I personally, and obviously you as well, I... probably would have preferred the console controls. Yeah. And that's it. But what would be interesting is that uh, it's difficult... Most people hate that game because of Dragon Age Origins 1, and they think Dragon Age Origins 1 is much better than Dragon Age Origins 2. I think I'd need to see Dragon Age Origins 1. But it controls exactly the same, and that seemed like the main gripe gra- really? you have with it. And it starts a lot slower. Yeah. So I don't know. I guess it's just not for me, then. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sick of action RPGs anyway, in, in that sort of sense. Even even if I could have used the control, I probably... I've, I've played enough of hack and slash, and whilst I, I like playing a mage character... Um, which I had the option to do here. It, it, I, I just don't think it was what I was, it wasn't what was it, what I was expecting, and what it was, wasn't really something I'm into. <laughs> I don't, it's hard to explain, but I I just didn't like the way the the layout of the the controls are and and, and the way you have to do things. It's it's cool being able to pause and and do the little nitty gritty things and the customization in like the your the the other AI and stuff that's that is pretty awesome that's that's very in depth and I'd like to yeah. see that in other games but I I think the the game at its core was something that I can't really agree with I think were you to sit down and obviously you wouldn't but if you were you to sit down and play that and actually I need to put a lot of it, hours in yeah with, without me sitting here and explaining shit to you I think this isn't the right setting to if I had a enjoy that as game. well <laughs> if I had a controller I could sit back and. And play it that way, then then maybe. But as as it stands, the way it works with a keyboard and mouse is just it's it's a bit weird. All right, I so like I played it, I loved it. You played it, not too keen. No. Fair enough. Fair enough. Try again, Harley. Try again. Hey, uh, <laughs> pick I'm something to better. Find something good. <laughs> hey, it's fantastic. I don't care. It's more for me. That make Dragon Age three for me. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I guess I'll probably give Dragon Age three a miss as well. Yeah, <laughs> might as well. Yeah. Apparently they've made it more like the first one, which means it's yeah. going to start slower. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks for watching. I play, you play. Uh, be back again whenever we put another one out. Yeah, at some point. You know, we will. We'll next, be here next week. Or you might not be here. I might. In fact, it might be you, someone else, and or me and someone else. I live in a totally different place in the country. It's, it's difficult. I can't get here, but I'll well, be here when I can. Okay. All right. Bye.